Hey y'all, it's Tiffany, the HCG Housewife, and today is January the 17th, 2012, round two, very low calorie day 16. Um, I've already been for a walk with my dog, and it's so, it's kind of funny sad. She, she goes, 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 and I know she's doing it just to, to please me, but she gets tired easier now because she's getting old. Um. But maybe if she didn't, you probably can't hear it, but she's doing this, this crying thing outside. Maybe if she didn't stay up all night doing that, she wouldn't be so tired during the day. It's like I have to <laughs> beg her to get up in the mornings. Um, anyway, I released 1.2 overnight, so that is 7 new pounds for the weight. My computer's telling me something. Hold on. Okay, I hope this is recording. Anyway, um, seven pounds for round two, um, not including loading weight. If I include loading weight, it would be 16 for round two. So that's about a pound a day. Um, since I already lost the nine pounds before, I'm not including that. But 28.6 overall, and that just doesn't sound right. Because I did the calculations a while ago, and I was 0.4. Until I lost my, until I hit my 30 pound mark. So anyway, I'm close. I'm close to that, and I'm close to the new decade. So close to the 230s and 30 pounds lost. I could maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow will be it. Um, the goal was to hit this by Monday, next Monday. But it looks like I might be early. So that's cool. Um, speaking of, I wanted to give a shout out to Rilla's Villa, who hit her. I think was. Was it your 40? I know you hit a big mouse, a big, big goal milestone. So I wanted to congratulate you. I know you got into the, um, the two thirties and I, cause I commented that I wasn't far behind you. So hopefully tomorrow I'll meet you there. <laughs> um, so anyway, let's see. Oh, I was going to mention Tom is weird. Um, because I am not hungry at all. I mean, I still want a snack, but that's just that's just me. There's, I'm I'm a snacker, <laughs> and I don't. I would hope I could change that, but it doesn't look like I'm going to, because I'm looking for legal things to snack on, like the spinach chips and the kale chips, things like that. Which which is okay. I guess at least I'm making healthier choices. Um, but anyway, um, I, I wasn't hungry yesterday. I, I ate, I ate lunch really late, and then I wasn't hungry for dinner, so I made a strawberry smoothie because I really wanted fruit. I felt like a a need for juicy fruit, and all I had, well, I, I didn't have any grapefruit yesterday morning. Um, this computer keeps talking to me. Sorry. Now it's telling me I need to update. I always just cancel that. But anyway, um, so I made a strawberry smoothie, and what I, I put in it was um, about a fourth a cup of Greek yogurt, a splash of the coconut milk drink. It's not really coconut milk. It's kind of like the almond milk. Um, it's not as high in calories and fat as, co as, as full coconut milk. Um, and Splenda, it was very good, and my hubby had half a, well, probably... 40%, 30% of it or whatever for um, his his fruit after dinner snack. And then I had my the biggest part of it for dinner. Um, and that filled me up. I mean, I got a little hungry a little later and I had some um, Choco D and Melba toast and that, that did me for the night. Um, for breakfast yesterday, because I was out of grapefruit, I had strawberries and a splash of cream. And the Cream, I, I didn't have have it in my coffee yesterday because I'm out of the peppermint mocha, the sugar-free peppermint mocha that I like, um, and I think I'm out of it for the year. All I can I can find it at the grocery store in the sugary variety, but not the not the sugar-free. Um, I keep my fingers crossed, but looks like that was all bought up. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> for lunch, I had P2 chili with beef and I had it kind of late, but it was so good. I don't know what I did different, but it was, it was more thick and hearty like a chili. I didn't do anything, anything different. 
And then for a snack, I had an apple. And then dinner, I had the strawberry smoothie. And my other snack late at night, I had Choco D and Melba. Um, I had made some chili, uh, some chicken chili for my husband last night because he really likes that. <clears throat> he doesn't mind having the same thing more than once. But um, I was planning on eating that myself because it, you know, it looked really good. But I think I'm going to have it for lunch today because I just, I wasn't hungry for it. I wasn't hungry for it yesterday. Maybe it's because I'd had chili not that long before. And that chili is very filling. If you haven't tried the P2 chili, Google it. Look for YouTube videos of it. It is really good. And it's super easy to make. Um, but anyway, that's, that's about all I have for today. So we're going to go ahead and cut this short. And um, someone had asked me, mutton bone something and I'll reply to you in the comments that you asked me to show my wedding pictures which are on the wall back there I don't think I can zoom in let me try I don't think I can but what I will do is I will whoops wrong way, ooh, wrong way. I will use those as some pictures when I start doing my book no nah, it's not it's going to be too blurry anyway I'll include those with um pictures that I do for before after kind of thing. Ooh, I'm getting really out there there. <laughs> Let me get closer. Well, I said this is going to be short and now look what I'm doing. Playing with the camera. Anyway, um, I'll include those pictures. Actually, I'm a, I don't know what weight I was on my wedding day because I'd taken some time off from work and where I weighed at that time was at work and I was already on the upward swing of gaining when I would come back from my honeymoon um, I was I was like I think I was 255 because that's kind of like a set point for me and I remember I was 255 after my honeymoon and so that wasn't too far away from there I had a lot of um, I had a corset dress so it was kind of sucking me in but um, when I look at those pictures, I, I like the way I look in my wedding pictures. It was a very happy day. Um, I planned it all myself because I, I think I said before that before I got married, I was an event planner for a retirement community. And um, I was also starting my own event planning business. And when I came back from the honeymoon, that's what, that's what we did. We started our own event planning business. And um, here we've now made it very part-time because um, it takes a lot of time away from home, especially on the weekends. And that's the, you know, the time we really get to spend, my husband and I really get to spend together. So um, we decided to make it very part-time. And I ended, I anyway, the point of it is, is that was such a happy day. I planned everything myself and enlisted the help of family and friends to set up the hall and, and it was, it was just so much fun. We had a, a wedding planner, I mean, a, yeah, a, wedding, a planner, event planner at the um, event space. And he said that I made his job really easy because he didn't have to do much, <laughs> but set up the tables. Um, but anyway, that's, I, I like to reminisce about that day. It was a lot of fun. But anyway, I'll show that, like I said, I'll show those pictures probably as some before pictures, maybe, <laughs> whenever I get to my goal. So, um Anyway, I hope everyone has a great day and big releases to everyone. Easy stabilization and happy maintenance. Bye-bye.